welcome back my beauties and welcome if you're new my name is sheena and if you haven't already please hit that like and subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into today's set so today's set is a recreation that i kind of just came up with a few hours ago but the products i'll be using are this warm pretty polish bpjr01 and I'm gonna use these tips I got off, uh, well, excuse me, these Kusa gel liners <laughs> here. Um, I've been really loving these, the consistency and just how they overall work. So I've been gravitating towards these a lot lately. And for the nail tips, I'm using these, I guess they're called Sedas. Um, I got them off Amazon and they were $4.99 at the time. So I had to grab them and I just wanted to try something new, but they are a coffin shape and this is what that nail is looking like. To start off the set as normal, I'm going to go in with some base coat gel over all of the nails and then cure for 30 seconds. I hope everyone is having an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, or night. And as always, thank you to anyone who takes their time to watch my video. Welcome if you're new to the channel and thank you for joining me on my nail journey. It means so much to me. And if you've been subscribed, I love you so, so much and I appreciate your continued love and support. So to start the set off, I'm going to go over all of the nails with a layer of that Born Pretty Polish BPJR01 um, and I'm going to go ahead and do three coats and curing for 60 seconds in between each of the coats. I'll only do one on camera here but I'll let you finish watching me apply the first coat. And this is what the nails look like after three coats. So now I'm going in with the orange Kusa gel liner and I'm gonna be doing a plaid design. So I'll be using the orange, the brown, and the white. And I'm just gonna make some lines on this nail to make a plaid design. And I'll let you go ahead and watch.
So it's not gonna be a lot of talking in this video because I literally just did this about three hours before uploading it. Um, and I'm just challenging myself for the month of June to do a nail set per day for the month of June. And last night we got a little caught up with just summertime fun and I never got around to doing anything. I wanted to do something totally different, which I will go ahead and do tonight to upload later in the week. Um, but yeah, I was having too much fun. And so I just came up with this recreation really quick. So now I'm going in on my index and I'm going to make a French tip, um, but I'm going to bring it all the way around. So you'll see what I mean. I'm going in with the white Kusa gel liner and just making that smile line how I would like. And lately I've been really loving my Frenches. They've been coming out super, super cute. I'm getting so much better with painting on Frenches and I absolutely love my growth with that. Um, because at first when I used to do Frenches, I used to hate them. I used to think they looked so wonky and just really ugly. Ugly. Um, but it just takes a lot of practice so if you're someone that's new to nails and is not sure or you've tried and you feel like you're just not gonna get it trust me and trust the process you just have to continue to practice and take your time and it will definitely come all together so I'm gonna go ahead and let you finish watching me create this French I also take a cleanup brush and just straighten out my lines before going in and curing So now I'm taking the brown and I'm just going to go ahead and outline that uh, smile line area and cure this for 30 seconds. Then I'm going in with the orange and peachy shade and making like squares on this nail. And once I get those squares set, I do go ahead and do a flash cure for about uh, 15 seconds. And then once I get them set, I take the black Kusa gel liner and go around and make like stitchings on the squares. And I love these type of designs. I'm not sure what you call them, if it's patchwork or stitches, but these designs are absolutely wonderful and amazing to me. And I've been wanting to just kind of come up with something on my own with some stitching in it. I did a super cute Halloween set um, last year. I'll post it in the cards. I know it's not Halloween time, but that set was super, super cute. Um, and I just loved how the stitchings on that one came out as well. But I'll let you continue watching me finish up the French.
So off camera for my middle finger, I also did a plaid design and now I'm going in on my ring finger and I'm gonna make that design where there was like two hearts and then like it was like a half French basically with the peach shade in the background and then we do make the stitchings on this heart. Initially, I just made the hearts and then went in with the stitchings and then off camera, I did go in and actually outline those hearts as well. After each heart I did, I cured for about 15 seconds and then with the peach shade in the background, I did it and then like did a second coat off camera. For that, I do feel like I added way too much gel polish. It was a bit lumpy. But overall, the design came out super cute as a recreation. And I do feel like I should have recreated these on a bit longer nail um, because everything was a little bit compressed, in my opinion. But it came out okay. So I'll let you go ahead and finish watching me finish up my ring finger. And then lastly for the pinky, I'm making like, just like a really weird type of fringe. It was just, like I said, I'm just re recreating the set. So I basically, basically did what I saw. Only difference with this nail was that the nail in the photo was actually a stiletto. And I really didn't feel like trying to dig out my stilettos at the time. So I just stuck with the coffin and I think it came out great. But I'm starting with the brown and then I go ahead and fill that in. I'm gonna cure that for a full 60 seconds. Then I come back in with the white Kusa gel liner and outline that black, excuse me, the brown, and then cure that for 60 seconds. And then I go in and do the stitchings on top of that white and cure again for 60 seconds to complete this nail. And this is how the nail set is looking. I'm absolutely loving it. I did feel like I should have left it shiny because I did like how it looked, but I opted against it and went with a matte just because that's how the photo showed as a matte and I've been really liking matte nails. So I do want to start to get into those a little more. So I'm taking my Beatles matte top coat and I'm just going to apply a nice layer over all of the nails and cure for 60 seconds.
And here's the finished set. I love them, actually. I should have top coated them just to kind of see how they look. But overall, this design was really, really simple, really easy, quick, came out very nice. These nail tips are okay, but I noticed with my peel off, they weren't trying to stick to my nails with the glue. So I'm not sure what was up with that. But comment down below and let me know what you think of this recreation. And if you've made it this far, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my future sets. I thank you all for joining me today, and I'll see you all in my next one. Remember to be the best you that you can be. And again, I'll see you in my next one. Much love to you all.